Welcome back to our live show. Live till afternoon. Topic, this is, is the finals really episode, isn't it? For heroes to dress sexily. She's the rookie hero who debuted just this Look at my year. big ass. Look it's at my big ass. Lady. And she's a pro who's currently teaching at UA High School. The incomparable Midnight. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> We're having a good time. You're a hero whose sexiness changed the very laws of the country. That's impressive. Because of the nature of some people's quirks, clothing can restrict their abilities. Sexiness isn't just How convenient. Stay. It's sometimes needed so we can do our jobs well. Besides... <laughs> All these guys' faces are hilarious. <laughs> I think you just like the attention. Uh-oh. Looks like we've got a little rivalry. You're amazing. For someone of your age. You can oh. have like, the bushing on to you all you want, but you're not that young yourself, you know. She had to use the A word. Yeah, it's very competitive. Maybe Stain was right. <laughs> Thank you! How's the guy supposed to do his homework with this on TV? Well, I know who's failing finals. It's complicated. You know, there's there's no bad things, right? Like, sexuality isn't bad. I'm having flashbacks to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood right now. Money isn't bad. Status isn't bad. All these things can just be useful tools. I think the more important thing is what are you anchored to? To worship beauty, for example, above all else, for me, is missing something. To think that money is the thing is similar. But there's a mistake on the other side as well that I see really often, which is the villainization of those things. But I think if one's own values are sorted out, where you're clear on who you are and you have good intentions for, for what you want for yourself and others, from that place, there's nothing lost from trying to attain these things. If you're the same good person no matter what, you may as well be like that same person with more money than less money. You know what I mean? In other words, as long as your, your values and your worth and the worth you give to others is not dependent on those things, then they are just a neutral in that way and can be a positive in, in the way they work best and the hatred of those things i think often comes down to not actual values but more of a sour grapes kind of thing now in the case of the heroes it's obviously true that stain has a point that it's not all pure there are definitely a lot of heroes who are self-interested but you know even then so what if that actually makes them do good things then isn't that a win i don't know like ass lady saves a lot of people we've seen her show up like every time there's a crisis pretty much it's pretty hard to miss her i don't know another thought i'm having is that like i'm always going to sort of give more credit to the people who are actually out there doing stuff even if they're imperfect than like the critics who are not really doing that much you know what i'm saying they got skin in the game literally gear up for final exams this must have been the halloween episode i still have nightmares about this i'm sure you're all studying constantly right yeah i'm not just watching tv there's also the practical portion why does she look so happy good luck Festival and internship. I didn't have time to read the textbook. He would be the lowest student. If someone ranked in the top ten, I'm not that concerned. Hey. What? You are ninth, ninth in the, the midterms? Mid yeah, that is kind of surprising. Oh, here I thought you were one of us. Don't you know weirdo oh, little creeps like you are only likable if they're kind of stupid? <laughs> Who's going to love you now? <laughs> Everyone, trust me. Hey, I like the confidence at least. His teachers are going to like him. Hey, don't worry about it, you two. I can catch you up to speed on the important topics. She makes sense. It's number one. Yeah, I'm afraid I won't be any help when it comes to the practical, though. She still has hang-ups about the tournament. I must call Mother and have her prepare the Great Hall for us to set up. It'll be the perfect spot. Great Hall? What kind of mm, tea does everyone like? I'll have her make sure we're stopped. That's did she come from my hero background, too? If I remember correctly, she was also a recommendation recruit or candidate. Seems like this study session comes with perks. Is she humble bragging? Or does she not even realize what she's saying? I don't think she realizes. She's having a good time. Everyone's panicking right now. But it won't do them any good to cram this late in the game. Shouldn't you be more concerned? You didn't do very well in the midterms. Are you talking about moi? I did just fine, thank you. Listen, exams are just a joke. They don't matter. It's, it's such a scam. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> the school is a scam. You heard it here first. <laughs> if you're watching this, you can just drop out. Do yourself a... No, I'm kidding. Please don't do that. What I do think, though, is that this actually connects really well to what I was just saying about, like, it mattering more where the value is. School and grades and academic performance can be a very useful tool if used effectively. It does open doors. And so there's no reason not to take it seriously and to do one's best at it. Just like, it's true of anything. But the values for me about school that I got were totally wrong. Grades, for me, in my life, having done a lot of school, mean absolutely nothing. And where that has potential to do harm, I think, is that it misses the point of what's actually important, which is becoming someone of value, becoming someone of self reliance with skills and in that sense the grades you hope are correlated to that but are are not necessarily that thing itself a big turning point for me in school happened in university when i started questioning why i was trying to please teachers when i was spending my time and my money to be there and with that focus i started only going after things i was craving to know or things i felt would help me going forward in my life that i felt were weaknesses and i took really greedily from it part of that was not jumping through the hoops that i didn't want to jump through and that lowered my grades but because of that 
that switch in focus where I stopped being this passive thing thinking I'm just going to show up and like what I need will be delivered to me and became an active participant in my own studies. I feel like the last couple years of university were incredibly productive for me and were not reliant on university. So I like continued on that path up till now. It's like having a question, finding out how to answer that question for yourself. Long story short, about the practical. I support Aoyama. I idea what it's gonna be. <laughs> oh, damn, that looks good. It's a comprehensive test of everything we learned this year. Yep, and that's about all we can get Mr. Aizawa to tell us. Okay, so then it'll cover combat training and rescue training? Oh, and basic training. Case in point, I once took a class in evolutionary biology, and I loved the class. Like, I literally read the textbook cover to cover because I enjoyed it. And because of that, I learned the information really well, and on the cumulative final that I didn't study for, I got a perfect score. Yet, I failed the class because I didn't turn in an assignment. And for me, that just blew my mind. Like, it's all just a power game for this professor to have leverage over me to think that he's not teaching me evolutionary biology, but how to fall in line into his weird little world, you know? If you're feeling some bitterness right now, <laughs> it's because I'm still bitter all these years later. This is why I still have nightmares about university. It's not a place for, like, independent thinkers. We can't just study. We have to stay in great physical shape. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Your head's so big. This guy, where have you been? Just like in the sports festival, class 1A isn't happy unless they're the center of attention. <laughs> you need to let this go, dude. <laughs> it's just that you keep getting into I wonder so what kind of trouble. face Invisible Girl's Here's making right now. For thought. Someday the rest of us might get caught up in your mess, and then we'll all become unwitting victims as well. He wishes he can get caught up in class 1A's mess. What team it? Thank you. That's not funny, Monoma. This food is insane in this school. This guy's eating filet mignon for lunch. School lunch. I heard it's gonna be combat against robots like the entrance exam. What? Uh, really? How do you know full that? Full circle. One of my friends who's a few grades up filled me in. I know. Cheating. But they oh don't well. change the exams? Seems like a big oversight. What kind of idiot are you, Kendo? <laughs> you just gave away our whole strategic advantage. This was our chance to finally pull ahead of that class full of idiots. He's gonna get it again. Yeah, there it is. Are not the idiots. Is that wine? I really want to go to UA. Just for the food. As its holder, you may one day have to fight against this great evil yourself. He was talking about final exams the whole time. That's the twist. Why are you morons so excited? Hey, who are you calling a moron? Shut up! You need to learn how to control your quirk! Just like Bakugo has learned to control his temper. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with your power, but I saw the way you're using it now and I want you to know it's seriously pissing me off. Thanks for sharing, I guess. New rankings. So we'll all know exactly where we're standing. I'll show you how much better I am. Who's the nerd now caring about school rankings? Todoroki, I'll kill you too. Kill you, huh? Think it's impatience or hatred. He's just become a giant nerd. I love his perpetual use of this hand device. Damn, he looks ripped. I would not choose Bakugo as a study partner. He chose so wrong. He could have been here at this house drinking his tea. Why is this study montage so exciting? <laughs> right, Place your bets. Your pencils down. This show gives me like a compulsive need to bet all the time. I didn't leave anything blank at least. Just like that, our three days of written exams were over. You want to go to camp, then don't make any stupid mistakes. Damn, I almost looks badass though. We're fighting those big old metal robots. <laughs> No, no, no. Here it's not that easy. Actually, this year's tests will be hey, look who it is. different for various reasons. Principal Nezu! You students will be working together in pairs. Oh, no, not group work again. We're fighting the teachers? That's interesting. I hope Nezu fights. Yaoyorozu and Todoroki are a team. Huh. That's a high power team right there. Then we have Ooh. Midoriya paired with Bakugo. You had to do it, didn't you? And their opponent is. <laughs> Well chosen. Yes, you are. Will this bring them closer together or drive them apart further? <laughs> yeah, but I feel like in, in their way, or in Bakugo's way, his priority is right. Like, his delivery is terrible, but it's not that he actually wants to win the exams, right? It's just that he wants to be the best and be great, which is a worthwhile ambition. If there's an error there, it's just like needing to be acknowledged for that or not yet being able to acknowledge that in himself. Like, he needs certain, like, criteria to be met before he can be satisfied, and those criteria don't seem to me to be, like, the actual things. He's obviously powerful. His deficiency is not power or ability. He's got that in space. His deficiency is, like, reasonableness. So I guess working together with Deku is a solid choice. You gotta confront these demons. 
with the connection between oh, the hero Claire Stain and the League of Villains, it's possible criminals everywhere will become much bolder. Mm -hmm. He's reading the, the writing on the wall. As a school, we should be taking every precaution. This is like Voldemort attacking Hogwarts. They know it's coming. I think it's a bit unfair. If we win too easily, we won't be able to give them actual grades, yo. I think you're underestimating them a little bit. we could take that into consideration and give the students an advantage. They're all assuming that the students won't be able to do anything. We must push them. We make sure that they're as strong as possible. Why do I feel like the teachers are going to get pushed here? You're paying close attention, huh? Yes. And now, let's announce the teams and the teachers they'll be fighting in This is yet in another order. instance of the show of like, you think the student's learning, but the teacher's learning too. Everyone grew that day. Well, you're dead. No, they put her with Mineta? That's perfect, actually. So we've either got to capture the teacher or run away. Please think of us as villains. Assuming you come across your enemy. I mean, with this guy, I don't have to try very hard. In instances where you're outmatched, it would be smarter to run away and find help. Todoroki, Ida, Midoriya, I'm sure the three of you understand. What's he getting at? <laughs> I guess he, he might know. Won't make that mistake again. I will pass this test and prove that I'm a hero. I love how refocused Ida is. I said this last episode too, but you know, it's not that common of a thing. The instinct in that situation, I think, is to just dig into your flaw, you know? Especially after that humiliating of a defeat. It takes an impressive amount of strength to actually admit that you did something wrong, or have a big weakness, or are deficient in some way. But the tragedy of that kind of interpretation is that that would have been the point of that. You know, that would have been the benefit of that that thing that happened, the terrible thing. And so without actually extracting something from it, it just is that terrible thing. So I just love to see this renewed motivation, this renewed focus. We had a contest to come up with these designs, and young Hatsume ended up winning it! Wow, good for Hatsume! You this girl's going places. Handicap to win against you. I'll think again. <laughs> this will be fun. <laughs> the face. It will be fun. Those waiting their turn to fight can either watch the exams or try to strategize together as a team. It's your choice. Well, you don't want to miss this. I'd watch. You're watching too. Hi. Yeah. It's not like we get many chances to watch students in combat with teachers, right? Yeah. This is amazing. My partner oh, is a little. He's busy. Yeah. Himself. Busy looking at himself. You don't say. So what do you think? We'll definitely get a higher score for capturing instead of running, you agree? Yeah, they're all really ambitious. I feel like a lot of them are going to go for capture. And in a way, the choice weakens them. The sooner they decide what they're doing, the easier it is. Very fast. Let's break through from the front and shoot for a high score! That's an Art of War thing from Sun Tzu's book. If you want to defeat your enemy, always leave them a, a path to escape. Because it weighs on them in the back of their mind, like I can always run away. It's when people think they have no escape that they fight the hardest. His work, sugar rush. Sato. For every 10 grams of sugar, he's five times as strong for three minutes. However, the more sugar he uses for power, the more his cognitive functions suffer. Oh? <laughs> this is it! Samantha's so is such a beast, though. Just a hundred more cement walls to break through. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It won't last forever. They're doing exactly what he wants them to do. Cementos He's just slowing her down. Limit, though, to pass, we'll have to recognize our weaknesses and overcome them. Hmm. Exactly right. You should think carefully about your compatibility with the teacher you're fighting. Right, what does that mean for Deku, Baku, and All Might? You're both weak when it comes to long-term battles. Listen well. When your life is on the line, you need to know exactly how far you can push your powers. Sato and Kirishima have been knocked out. Is that one-sided? Your quirks were too ineffective against his. I feel like it was her strategy that messed up there. You're up against the number the one greatest hero. hero. How do you beat All Might? Now I'm wondering. Why do I feel like the answer is actually teamwork? Teamwork and patience, maybe. Steal your nerves and show me your resolve. I love this guy's look. Oh no! I want to see it now. <laughs> Oh well. These are all shadow forms, right? And Tokuyami has a shadow of his own. I take back everything I said about final exams. <laughs> this is amazing. This school is incredible. I wish I had done this. It's the epitome of what I was saying. I should have known better because Aizawa especially is on the same page I feel as what I was saying about like what actually matters in terms of education. It's inevitable that a certain amount of this will always have to be standardized and so something will be lost in that shuffle. But if you have people putting the whole program together that actually understand what the goal is and are effective teachers in that they know how to arrive at that goal, that's when things go right, I think, in school. And that's exactly what UA is with Aizawa in charge of this whole thing. I guess it's not just the school either, it's also the students because the students know what they want. The students are very, very clear what they're after for the most part. And I feel like 
that's just not a normal student experience. Like a normal student experience is, this is just what people do and I gotta get through it. Just as a general principle, I think, the more you're clear on like a vision that brings you intense joy or excitement or whatever, the easier it is to strategize for one, but also the easier it is to pull out all the things you encounter that would be more useful. You end up being more productive in terms of retaining things, retaining information, if it's connected to a passion. It's a good combination. It's nice to see things work out. You know, it's like good students, good teachers. Things just work well, magic happens. So yeah, that's the end of this round of finals. I'll see you guys next time when we continue the amazing student teacher battles.